<laughs> Let's do this, guys. Cobb will be a different story, guys. That will be cool. We have no idea because all our territory is taken by some crap. And what do we do? I don't know. And how do you like that? Huh? <laughs> all right. Let's add some more of those things. Holy sh**. They have double the amount. They have they have four draws. This is this is really good, guys. That will change everything. Those guys are fantastic. It's like, okay, we will, but slowly. I'm like, no, it will be faster because we will upgrade some of you. And they're like, yeah, let's go. Look at that. The trains are moving non-stop right now. They're like, chuk, chuk. That's crazy. And they're like, whoa, performance. This is so cool. No, that is bad. Anyway, metal waste. Oh, 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 we can make it different. Okay. What's up, guys? It's Ten Kosh, and today we're playing Plan B Terraform again. Doing best for our red planet to make it green and growing and all that stuff. Let's go. But okay, now we got this thing going right. I will keep this one for expansion for later. And what do we need to produce next? We want to produce components. Components are being produced by what exactly? By a comp composite, I'm sorry, composite. Composite requires tempered steel and polymer bar, which can be produced out of aluminum. So I guess we will need to make aluminum production as well. Seems like a plan, right? Let's see where can we place it. Not that many areas because this area is like will be flooded soon. So you don't want to do it. The good thing about all that, that it's modular. You can kind of create it anywhere. Like here, for example, and deliver it using trains. You will need more trains, yes, but that will work. So, aluminum delivery with... Com Maybe we want to get the polymer bar straight to it. Is it required? Wait, we just need polymer bar. And polymer bar is being created out of um, carbon. So it's not being produced from whatever. So we can just create a factory of carbon and and this thing and, and, and yeah, and just make it work. Let's do this, guys. I really hope that those MK3 depots worth it because they should have more drones so they will work faster. Right now, I have no idea. So, okay, where do we place this factory? Like, this one takes... Uh, this is not the right one. This one takes not that much place, but it's actually pretty useful. We can get just carbon out of those and get polymer bars straight away. I'm not sure if we will need carbon by itself. And it's better to do this, but, you know, not sure. Since you can get it straight away into the polymers really fast. Carbon is being required for trees. That's about it, I think. So let's do this. How do we do this? Uh, that will be different. This looks slim. That one will look uglier. <laughs> we need to find a bigger place for this. That won't be flooded. Okay, that seems like a perfect area for our new beginning. Moreover, we got the aluminum here that we might use later. So again, we will start with the basic railroad stuff over here. Okay, now we will need to deliver the polymers so that will be polymer bars not sure how many do we need probably way less but you know for the storage purposes and whatever for the science that will be it now uh, they will be produced in the factory polymer bar from the carbon okay now this one oh wait 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 wait, wait. delete this there we go now those factories will be supplied by um, those depots that will hold carbon on them okay and those in the end will be supplied by where are those atmospheric extractors i think those things oxygen and carbon although i have a bad feeling about those and i think they don't produce that much like the output is really low so what we'll have to do we'll have to create more of those and kind of deliver the old way like spread it a bit yes. uh, annual production cycles 12 those give you 30 30 times 3 that's 90 so you need like 9 of those per each of those factories math right here mathematics so in order to make it work we will replace some of them well basically we'll do the same thing we did everywhere else 
we'll create a farm. Because that's the only way for us. And the good thing, since we got a lot of space around us, that farm can be as big as we want it to be. So we don't have actual limitations of space like, oh, we had other buildings nearby. No, we don't. So I think this is the right way of playing the game. It's more comfortable way of playing the game for sure. So for now, while this thing is just starting out, we already start producing the uh, polymers here. And what do we want to do? What do we want to create? We want to create polymers plus... Oh, look at that. We got a lot of tempered steel already. Plus tempered steel, that will give us composite, right? Where do we want to make it? Somewhere nearby, obviously. We will create same production line again. Because it's modular, you can supply it with different resources other than making a mess over here i think it can fit over here so let's do the same stuff storage uh one two three that will be the limit of this area right well for now it will be the limit of this area for sure so now we will create it somewhere here there we go and that will be the later part of this thing and here that's the output right so that will be composite there we go expensive stuff guys so how many do we have here one two three four five six i think six is enough one two three four five six one two three that's two factories and inner supplies and now again one two three four five and from here it goes back to the main railroad that connects whatever it connects good nice Ooh, this is looking way better than what i did beforehand i think this is more slick and more effective to be honest like it's taking less space it's easier to control because like okay i know what's happening here what's lacking so we'll just add more trains and yeah that will do and we will defo create hubs for resources so like if we need iron we will deliver from iron deposit like as many trains as we need to because the supply will be going to the iron hub that will kind of deliver their everything you know what i mean that will be fun hub will be different story guys that will be cool so in order to make the composite we need polymer bars uh, first let's take let's make factories right because they have to be produced somewhere composite one polymer bar one tempered steel so the same uh ratio that's good <laughs> i don't think that we will need that many to be honest but it's better to be ready for the future so okay that's the polymer and here we get the tempered steel what's good about all these guys that if you do it just like i did by um splitting your main task into the smaller tasks it's way easier to finish instead of like, oh, we need to create this crazy production line where we will create it. We have no idea because all our territory is taken by some crap. And what do we do? I don't know. And you will start stressing out. Here, you take it one step after another slowly. It's the most important thing that it wouldn't be underwater. If some parts of the factory will be underwater like this one, you can recreate it somewhere else. And that's really, really nice. So we got the components already, just like that. That's very nice. So let's add some trains. First train will deliver us the, the iron tempered steel. I'm sorry. Let's make four, five trains. And duplicate over here. Tempered steel. Five trains. There we go. Another one. That will be way more trains, though. Where is it? Here. Look at that. It's kind of working. And we can and we will expand it later on. For now, I just want to make things going to check out the MK3 thingies. Here we get the polymer bar. And that will be like 30 trains, I think, because this is pretty far away. And oh, then there is another one. We're here. To come on to this location with another 30 trains there we go so that should get the thing going and we'll be getting our components and what wait 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 what else do we need for this other than components 
yeah, it's just components, so that's nice. Uh, composite, I'm sorry. Composite, because composite, we can create some of those production buildings right here. That will be interesting. This is not what we need. We need depot and key three. Honestly, three is more than enough, I think. But five is better than four. So there we go. That's the production line for MK3 deposits and uh, depots. And this looks really good. I like how it looks. Because here you can create some small production lines from the specific resource that you need. If it's a single resource, if not, you can create another factory somewhere. And you can create a lot of stuff over here. If you will need more, you can create second line. And that's like two of those is usually more than enough. If you need more, you can extend the line to make it longer. You can... Um, with MK3 ones that are three tiles long, you can make it wider by one tile, basically, and that will be even better. So, a lot of options, guys. Let's see how those things are doing. Yeah, we will need way more of those things. So, I actually wanted to wait before doing this, because right now, while we are busy with the production of whatever we're producing here the final resources are already going towards our depots so that's really nice and once again there is one uh cheaty way how you can do not really cheaty but cheesy i don't know i just like to do it like this so i won't have to manually readjust this stuff all the time and yeah that will do we can just create this fill it all with those things and then create the depots to deliver the resources to the areas that we need to deliver to. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's add some more of those things. I hope they won't conflict here and we, we got... Oh, no, we're not. We're good. Oh, yes, we have conflict. But it's not that bad. So, yeah, guys, that will have way more carbon production. I'm not sure if it's enough. But it seems that most factories over here, at least, they are working, like most of them over here. Not yet, but they will soon, because it needs time for them to produce stuff. So I think that will work. And that will... At least the trains are being loaded. I mean, that's the main thing, right? That they are not full, but really close to be full. So that's nice. The main thing that we are being... Having the production of MK3 depots. And I want to take a look at those guys. Let's compare right here. We create one of those as MK3. For example, here. Holy sh They have double the amount. They have not three, but four of those drones. No, wait, 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 wait. Did I miss loot? Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. They have four drones. This is, this is really good, guys. That will change everything. Those guys are fantastic. That's double the production productivity of those small shits here. Those will be really efficient if you put them close to the uh, railroad stations, for example, for iron over here. Since those can't keep up, you do this. Four, 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 and four over here, for example, and fours over here. And you will see those guys dra dragging everything over here. You can add some of those fours. Well, better to add all of them, but, you know, just in between. So that will be faster collection or of, of something. And that will empty those things. This is really, really good and future-proofing us. That will allow us to do way better harvesting and everything. And we did a really good job by creating those lanes over here. That will help us very, very well. Oh, one more thing. Mm, train from here to our main city. Delivering the deliverables. Do we have do we have component deliverables anywhere? No, we don't. Oh my god. So where would would we deliver them then? That's a waste, right? That's a waste as well. We can deliver components somewhere over here. Like we don't have to go all the way. We can create a new railroad. Honestly, we can just change some of the resources here from steel to components maybe. Because steel isn't needed anymore. Why do I call composite components? I have no idea. So this one, origin, will be... Uh, oh, wow. Origin will be here. Come on. Change. Will be here. And you will be delivering me composites. 
It's like, okay, we will, but slowly. I'm like, no, it will be faster because we will upgrade some of you. And they're like, yeah, let's go. Faster deliveries. This is very good, guys. That will be really nice. Once we'll get... This thing is going already, right? But once we will get it going for real, it will be a masterpiece. One more thing. I want to refine uh, some of the waste into the same goddamn polymer bars. Because, well, I mean, we can replace this. And we can create... This can be polymer hub, basically. Because if we will just expand it like this... Uh, oh. But yeah, if we will expand it like this, it will be like the storage capacity for polymers, right? And we can make production of waste refinery for plastic waste over here. Because it's like very straight. You get plastic waste and you get out polymers out of it right right next to it somewhere here so that will be the drop-off point that will be incoming point for the waste we can create this thing for the polymers basically but it should be perpendicular to this one i think so the storage will be delivered where it needs to be delivered i i'll think about how to do this uh, i guess we'll get the second video right now about how to make the refinery of plastic waste okay so, since we got the waste production, uh, yeah, since we got the polymer storage and production over here, and that will be the drop-off point for all the polymers, we would like to make the waste recycle somewhere along these lines, basically. How do we do that better? This will be the drop-off point, right? Like, this will be a bit ugly already. We can make it better if we'll destroy this and kind of prolong it forward. But yeah, it's not really efficient anyway. Okay, you know what? We can drop off here using trains, but just refine it next to it, basically. So we don't really need to be interacting with this directly. So let's go again with the... We got 59 of those already. This is so good. Let's make a better variant of this thing. Bigger one. Like three tiles. So, three tiles, right? Let's calculate. Um... On the outer edges, we need three tiles as well, so we need a lot of those things. It have to be delivered there anyway. You can't really do it at the same place because, yeah. So, I was thinking, like, maybe we should do something different, but it's it's good. So, once again, that will be uh, output with polymer. Okay, so that's the basics. Not really, but that's not everything, but that's the start. This one will be the plastic waste. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, that's a bit too much, but it's okay. All right. And now we will create a railroad here, as always. Nice. And we will connect it to this railroad, obviously, because why the hell not? So, that's very simple, basically. It's not that hard. Waste disposal? No. Recycling center. And we will make polymer bar recycling center here. And we will copy it. So, instead of two of those, there will be three of those and since we will get more of those drones it won't be any issue like uh this one can reach one two three all the way here one two three they can reach here they can one two three one two three they can reach there so this is really powerful guys like i don't know if we need more we don't really need that amount because that's an overkill for sure like the one part this one will be more than enough. I'm pretty sure about that. But yeah, let's see. Uh, let's create a train. That will deliver. Mm, do we get the plastic waste already here? Holy shit, that place is... In yeah, we do. Plastic waste from here. We and we don't have that many drop-off points anyway. So this one will be delivered here. Plastic waste. And let's say 30 trains. I even go with 40. And there will be train that will be delivering those things. Let's say... This is a factory, so it's okay. The, another, another good thing, guys. Composite. Let's go and let's say 20 trains. Oh, wow. That's too many. Let's say 15 trains. Another important thing why we want to build it separately from the storage. That we can unload stuff that we produce here over there so it will be always recycled so for the recycling buildings it's better to build them separately in any case okay 
Look at that. The trains are moving non-stop right now. They're like, chook, chook. That's crazy. Are we getting those trash things now? Let's make it faster. Upgrade. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. And they're like, whoa, performance. This is so cool. Now it's loading almost instantly. This is so good. The trains, they don't even slow down that much. They are being uploaded so fast. Nice. I want to see how it will be refined, guys. And maybe we will need more trains here. I don't know. We will see. We will need to get rid of this, of those deposits here. Yeah, it's still being loaded pretty well. We got a lot of that in the storage, but storage is going down, so we are good in terms of supply and demand. City supply is limited. I think we just need more of those things here, because that one can't keep up. And that will be high quality storage right here. Uh, why we don't have extra storage for metal waste? Did we just destroy the production of... Yes, we did. We just lowered the population of the city below the production of those plastic wastes, because we built here. So what about the supply? They need reinforced concrete right now. No, that is bad. Okay, let's supply them with some reinforced concrete. Uh, we'll have to raise them a bit more, but it's not really. We will need more supply lines anyway, so that was unexpected behavior right here. Why do we have trains with reinforced concrete over there waiting for something? When those are not being delivered anymore. Anyway, metal waste. Oh, 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 we can make it different. Okay. Alert, cancel the operation. Uh, something went wrong. When I changed this one to the supply of uh, composite, there is no composite drop-off. There is only reinforced concrete drop-off. So we can leave. And there are trains here as well, I think, right? Yeah. There are trains that deliver in the, the reinforced concrete here, so we will leave it here. And instead, uh, come on, instead we will create a composite drop-off over here, so that will be different resource. High-tech area, there we go. I don't know how it happened, because I definitely remember that we changed it. There is a pickup point over here, but maybe we haven't changed what they want to pick up. No, it's here. Destination. Oh, that's neat. So they deliver composite from here to here. Uh, uh, yeah, you guys can disappear. All we need to do now is to change the storage to the required resource. I hope that will help City to grow, because I didn't like what happened just now, so... Full of organic waste, we're okay with this. So yeah, I think the city will start growing right now, it will go over 10,000 again and we will be good. How is our refinery doing? It's doing very well. What the hell? Why the trains arrive here with the load already? Oh, th th this is the trash. Okay. Why we're trying to transport composite over here, right, while it's supposed to be polymer bar? There we go. Now it's working correctly and we are doing great job and as i said guys oh, that might not be enough is it enough or not we need more storage for this for sure because otherwise it will just stockpile and and yeah won't be good so just in case i'll add extra storage for more capacity or out unloading and you know that kind of stuff so okay here we don't get any of that in the storage uh, the trash itself maybe i was too fast on saying that we won't need more than this because this one is working okay but it's like it's doing its best basically it's it's trying hard but it barely keeps up with well it's not barely keeps up but it, it's kind of at okay capacity basically could be worse where do we get those polymers from ah we get them from there right we just need better steel for this. Okay. For better steel, we need steel. Okay. For steel, we need iron. That we don't have. So the iron delivery is the problem for us. Because I think this deposit is just exhausted. Yeah, it can't keep up with everything. So, like, why I want to make the resource hub? Let me explain. Right now, we deliver iron here on. But if we will have, like, this factory for iron, we will have other factory, three, four, five different factories for iron refineries. It will take forever for us to reroute everyone, right? But if we got the storage for, of iron somewhere where we just drop it off and it's kind of being delivered everywhere, we just gotta 
add more trains delivering it and you're good. So the storage will be over, um, over full, over filled, whatever, with the new resource. That's the plan. So what's happening with the growth? The plants that we planted, they are actually growing really well. Look at this area. It's all green. I love it. This area is growing right now, so it's in a good state. What's this? Oh, they didn't grow on the resource nodes. So, uh, some areas... Ah, uh, that's just water. Okay. The, the areas where we planted the trees, they are growing in the most scenarios. Only in the areas that lack water, like where you don't have the good water source, they grow in ways lower, basically. Okay. But what I like, it's actually growing right now and it will keep growing in the future. Some areas are lacking water, like for example, this is a mountainous area, so it won't grow anytime soon. And here, I think it's still too cold in this area. It's lower than minus 30, so trees won't really grow there. On the other hand, on the south of here, they are okay, like let's go, let's grow. So I'm okay with that. Let's actually add a bit more of those things in, in specific areas where they're missing. Not sure how many of those will survive. But some of those will definitely do, and that will give us more green stuff over here. What about this area temperature? This is better for summer plants, because otherwise the ones that we will plant there, they will be destroyed. So yeah, we're getting close to our goal of 5% growth, and we are really good in terms of production, because I really like those new factories that are based on the railroad. They are really, really efficient. This is like the best thing that I could create and I'm really happy about this guys. And I think I'll be slowly remodeling our production facilities over here from this madness that doesn't really work to something that looks like it's supposed to be working. And look at that. We are getting overflow of steel here again. Why? I don't know. And you can't really control it because if it overflows you can't refine your resources. So you should drop off the refined resources into the storage area and then from that storage area, you should deliver them to your production buildings. Otherwise, it will overflow. So, yeah. I think the overflow is because we don't use that much of the advanced concrete anymore. And we need high-tech parts. So, we will have to work on those things later. But for now, I kind of like what we have in here. And the planet is getting way, way better. So, yeah, guys. Let me know what you think about this episode of Plan B Terraform down below in the video comments. By the way, there forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel that's really important for me and it doesn't cost that much for you just a click and uh, yeah you can check out the video description for the playlist for my other youtube channel social media and discord you will find something useful there for sure other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand push out have a good one bye